Captain. But let's go check on Bubs over here coming in from Tri-State. Oh, yeah. I've been hearing all about this Lucas, man. I feel like Tri-State have been getting a lot of Lucas out now with the Smash Bros, I believe. Yes. And there's Bubs, too. So, you know, they're coming out in plenty, so to speak. I think Bubs is from New York, specifically Long right. Island. I might be wrong about that that info, but uh, Bubs was voted in for uh, New York's pick, actually, to the Tri-State Invitational that okay. we had a couple months ago. And this player has been getting uh, shine ever since. But the problem is you're up against Toon Link, and it truly is just kind of like projectile versus projectile. And how we can get around that, I don't know. For Lucas, it might be a little tougher. Yeah, of course, like you're seeing right now, Bubs can use that down B uh, to kind of manipulate the time and kind of get that explosion to kind of absorb it. But of course, that is taking time and, you know, it gave uh, his opponent, Neon Lights, stage control. That is kind of the trade-off. Okay, trying to get the rocket, but good get-up attack from Neon Lights here, assuming probably from New England just the same. But Toolink is another one of those characters that if you don't really know what the character is capable of, Toolink is very fluid in the air, yeah. and those aerials link together really well, and they can be very, very kind of damaging here. Not even just the aerials, Lyric, honestly. His frame data will make you sick. You know, he has the same <laughs> frame data dash attack as Greninja. Look it up, it's terrible. They confirmed the strain the same way as well. All of his tilts link into each other. Up tilt, F tilt, and down tilt all link into each other. It's very nasty, but still bugs. Just proving to be that list that a little bit more disgusting. Taking the, uh, the second stock as well, continuing his lead. Not for long, though. Hopefully, there it is, the F tilt. Stealing away stocks, <laughs> swiping at you. Up special on stage from any of the links have just so much ending lag that if you miss it, you're going for a ride no matter what. Utility, but it is, yeah. <laughs> it is going to be last stock right now. It seems like Neon Light's getting very comfortable with the space and love the run-up grab here. Just keeping Bubs off, but still that Zare coming in to prove so good right now, but there's the up tilt into the up air looking for the aerial to finish it off, but still, Neon Light's definitely getting comfortable in the flow chart. Okay, Ed looking for his life, trying to get away to start chucking bombs on him, but the F tilt, really good range from Lucas to push him away. So close here, but still just trying to get something started here. Finds the up air, can't find the finisher here. Both players just getting their one piece hits. They're not getting much else here. So they're constantly just resetting, but there it is, up tilt into the up air. Neon Light's gonna go up in game one. Yeah, that confirm is nasty. I believe the tuning is called the updraft. It, it, the window on it is huge. <laughs> so the window <laughs> is a huge uh, window. And I was just sort of saying before, it's not just the arrows that link into each other, the normals do too. Tuning's got a lot of buttons to work with. Uh, so we are. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> we'll get there, single. we close until it wasn't anymore but let's head on back into bubs and neon lights here neon lights we saw going up 1-0 so far in the set see what bubs can do about it finds the nair but we got to find some more decisive options fabs there's that up air i like that okay bubs taking the first up the second game drawing first blood see what they can do to maintain the lead or is neon lights just going to come right back into it chucks the bomb off the shield and now bubs is still trying to pressure on misses the grab there's a down throw from his own though bubs starting to raise up the pressure slide a little bit more on the up B. You talked about it, right? It's yeah. unsafe. It's unsafe, and there's just tons of end lag no matter what. Like, the, the problem is, is that your li Link probably takes anywhere between, like,
like five to ten frames to stop spinning yeah. and that's just like go time right but when the move does connect it has so much knockback you can actually just go literally for a ride but good full hop from bubs here to avoid the up smash but that is gonna just be a back throw from neon lights even get back up yeah you're starting to bleed out but finally thank god neon lights coming back into the game this is bubs time though though just a down tilt trip, nothing from it. Angles the F tilt downwards, pushing away just a little bit further. Wants the forward ever, can't find it, and uh, Neon Light's starting to scrap back. Trying to get something started, but PK Fire just going to get kind of its mileage here. Finds the Nair, finds the F tilt. I would have loved to see a grab. Yeah, Lucas has so many auto combos into that down tilt trip into the forward tilt, push away. Trying to get the down S spike, maybe a bit too greedy. Now you're giving up stage control, and you're giving it back to a zona like Toon Link. Damn. Out there, right? Just like a straight up call out. Sometimes you can really feel those like Lucas options. The the sound design is very heavy on them, yeah. but <laughs> here comes Neon, but still Bubs finding a lot of these like anti-movement options, right? The up tilt that's picking literally up from the stage. Yep. I'm liking the rear uh, side piece to get you involved. The PK fires come out, very crisp like, and they're kind of uh, kind of annoying Neon Lights, kind of pestering him. Yeah, good parries here too. Just it's all about zoner neutral that's very interesting because it's the player that took takes their foot off the projectile gas first yeah. it sometimes wins sometimes loses but it will be bubs getting the game win with two stocks left in the tank yeah that whole sequence from bubs just there was actually really nice you know the double rope snake combo the double the double jump uh cancels there uh into the dash act to push him off stage and you're using the neutral b he doesn't even want the hit he wants you to burn your re uh, your resources so you make sure the air dodge is gone then he can get the conversion to kill him off so real smart from bubs I feel like there, if there has been a shift in the meta, it feels like so many players now avoid... back off we'll leave them there <laughs> nah you did not have to do all that but good showing from antimony once again one of the region's uh, strongest players i think will prop is probably seated pretty high here yeah. to do all the way through and i think if you're a steve cheerer uh you will be rooting for antimony at some point this weekend <laughs> for sure paris decided to be nothing from it to convert though and still bubs is looking there's a triple rope snake into the forward air so much horizontal conversion Oh, yeah. All right. We're going to full screen it. There we go. <laughs> Thanks, Devin. Last time I cast it on the quad stream, every single time I cast it on the quad stream, something new is like, added. It's so sick. Still, though, it is going to be Bubs Neon. Game number three here. Bubs has an excellent start, but no rage on that up tilt up air. It doesn't get the stop. Okay, looking for the second rope. So we're going to be too greedy yet again. Not getting too much conversion. But Bubs kind of wasting in shield uh, for Neon Lights to mess up. And honestly, Neon Lights had the first game in their hand, but the game is running away from them. Still shielding all the way through that hero spin. Like we talked about, getting a little bit of mileage here. The down oh smash actually going to scoop the roll in as well. So it's actually going to just be Bubs still in this advantage state here. And I think that's sometimes the hard part about fighting Lucas is that the hitboxes are quite literally all around this character. Yeah. And the PK freeze actually actually going to be taking that stock. Love to stall off stage, get rid of that invincibility off the angel plan, and no trump up B for you. There's the F tilt again. Bubs definitely feeling it now, yeah, right? The sure. movement is definitely there. For as long as Lucas has been uh, in Smash, like what has been very impressive about this character is the way that essentially you're gliding across the air with it, yep. right? Like those aerials and like you get your side magnet flows going through and you can tell a great Lucas player by the way that they're able to flow through aerials. Even the earthbound music playing in the background though. <laughs> Adding insult to injury too. Oh. Okay. Oh! Had the right idea though, it was there. It's just the frames didn't agree with that. Down smash not going to connect. Finds the down air, but doesn't find the finisher all the way through here. Honestly, we're at grab point, Fabs. Yeah, for sure. Or that. Doesn't even need it. The forward air sweet spot though, just to kick it off to boot. Um, booting them away and actually taking that now. I uh, believe that's 2-1 to, to Bubs or is that it might is be 3-1? It is 2-1. It seems like 2-1 right now for Bubs. Or that could have been end game, but I, I think I'm pretty sure it's 2-1 Bubs right now. Uh, we're still kind of like filing in players to our sets. Now granted, we did lose a little bit of stream time and pools did continue to happen. So yeah. uh, stream and pool timing could be a little bit different right now, but we will get players soon enough here for some of our other sets. But for now, it will be Bubs and Neon Lights, New England assuming versus uh, Tri-State, which I think is gonna be the theme of the weekend. Absolutely. 
No better way to have it up in New England, up in uh, Westford, Massachusetts. Yeah, a lot of people were saying, uh, yeah, this event's in Boston. This event is not in Boston, brother. <laughs> we are about 30, 40 minutes out from Boston. My oh. goodness, still, but Bubs showing it out right now, getting these beautiful combos. Hasn't even taken 10% just yet as Neon Lights has to find a way back into this with a little bit of some dash attacks, I guess. I like it. I'm telling you, 2 links dash attack is scary. Big button. Same frame there as Beninja. It's a very good move. Ooh. Now you're staying now though, and again, another street spot there. Add it to the tally, add it to the list. Uh, Bob's is racking them up. Here's the thing with going to battlefields. I feel like, especially a character like Toon Link, you have tons of places to run. Uh, instead of just going straight to ledge, you have both platforms technically if you recover high. The problem is you're going up against another projectile heavy character who can cover those options with projectiles of his own. Yeah. So while, yes, Neon Lights could probably be doing a little bit more, wow. it seems like Bubs is just, all right, here's that offensive wall of projectiles. How do you get around it? Bubs plays Lucas like a sword. Yeah. Uh, you're seeing him spacing out with these forward ends, with these, with these rope snakes. Um, and, and there is a hurt box on these moves, but you just have to watch out. Ooh, okay, going for the PK Thunder here, trying to line up for what could have been a down air, but Neon Light's going to be able to make it back, trying to get something started, but still, Bubs just has an answer for everything. Good air dodge onto stage, but now here comes Neon Light's swinging the sword. He just wants the F2, and I understand why. Neon Light just wants that game. There's the up smash. Still not going to take his mark, though. Getting hit by the PK fire, and obviously Lucas gets so much leverage off the ledge. Trying to get something started, but still, it's just Bubs holding his own right now, but it is going to be the hero spin that actually does do it from literally center stage. It's even stocks, but momentum is definitely not even. Okay, there's Dash that wants something from it, no conversion, but the up tilt. Very, very deceptive low end lag, but it doesn't matter. Down air into so oh, much nah. stun. It doesn't come off. It wants the nair drag down. Maybe could have opted for a smash attack instead. I think sometimes Lucas players feel themselves so much, oh, yeah. right? And they're like, all right, I'm moving. But at this point, this is up throw percentage, back throw even. But it will just be the conversion into that forward air like we were talking about here. So now it is Bubs on set point here. Has to just get one more stack to kind of flow through. Okay, dash attack again. Going to push him in the air, but doesn't get too much from it. And now an unsafe dash attack this time. Going to get nair out of shield. There's a forward air. Another one. Wants the third one, maybe? Mm -hmm. Opts for the down B reverse to make sure you've got a lot of their spacing. Nah, Bubs is literally saying you're staying off this ledge no matter what no, but trying to get the roll behind good get up attack from neon lights and there we go finally finding those boomerang conversions getting back on to the stage here and now we're going to see a little bit of a slowdown in the neutral there's the hero spin though and like we said so much knockback on that move that even with all of those frames of ending lag you have tons of time to recover yeah for sure neon lights as the game's going on i'm going to get a little bit more nervous we've seen a lot of rolls coming out this game especially they want to end it somehow, but unfortunately the down tilt into the grabs. There's a PK freeze, avoids it though, but still the sweet spot forward there, the tip of forward air, uh, finding its mark yet again. Really good stuff from Bubs. After going down one game, sometimes all it does, all it takes is just a moment to just calm down.